Hi everyone, this is Gleyan Kumar and welcome to product review with another video on cool features of PowerPoint. Now since I use PowerPoint very often in my class and I am a chemistry teacher, I teach grade 11 and 12, I need to use diagrams and graphs and charts a lot in my classes. And one problem which most of my colleagues who have come to me and asked for, um, for my advice was how to draw a perfect sine wave in PowerPoint. So because most of the time when you draw a sine wave, it may overall look like a sine wave, but it will always have some kind of a problem. It's not accurate. So I figured out three different ways of drawing a sine wave and this is to help all of you who wish to draw a sine wave using PowerPoint. So let me just um, in this case go ahead and open up PowerPoint. So I'm going to show you the first method. And uh, in fact the first method is very easy to use. And uh, so I just go ahead and collapse the thumbnail view, just zoom out a bit. And now I'm going to go ahead and open up Excel. And this is Excel 2016. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up a blank worksheet. And this is column A and column B. In column A, I'm going to write, let's say the X axis. In column B, I'm going to write the Y axis data. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a graph using Excel. So I'm going to have all the angles in degrees in my X axis. So I'm going to start from zero and go up to 360. And since the zero happens to be at two and one happens to be at three. So I'm going to add 360 to three and then come up with the values. So what I'm going to do is here, I'm going to place the formula as equal to a two plus one and I get one. So now what happens is when I copy this and paste it here, it will automatically become two. So I'm going to go up to 360. Remember, I've got the degree one at the row number three. So the 360 will be at 362 row. So I'm going to copy this. So I got 362 here. And here I'm going to paste this. As you can see, I've got all the angles from 1 to 360. So I'm just going to calculate the sine of those. And here this would be equal to sine. Now remember what happens is Excel always calculates the sine of angles in radians. And if you don't know what radians are, don't worry about it. I'll tell you what to do. So just follow the commands and you'll be able to get it. So now we need to convert the uh, radians into degrees and this is how we do it. So we say sine equal to sine bracket open and we write radians bracket and the values A2 because I'm calculating the sine of those values at A2 and automatically you will find that it becomes zero. And if I copy this and paste it here, you will notice I get the value of sine for angle one degree. So starting from here, now I've got to go to 362. So 362, B 362. And uh, I'm just going to paste it. And I am able to get all the sine values here. And uh, if you want to just check out, look at 90 degrees, it should be 1. And 90 degrees, it is 1. So all I'm going to do is use these values and draw the graph. And this is how we do it. Select column A and column B. So go to insert. And you have various charts. You just go to recommended charts and it automatically shows you the curve of this particular function. So I hit OK and I get this 
and I just uh, don't want all of them. I just want the sine wave. So I just remove these points from the graph and I have only the sine wave left. I copy this, bring it to PowerPoint and rather than pasting it directly, use paste special and you use it as the Windows meta file so that you can edit it later. You can ungroup it if you want. Ungroup it. Ungroup this. Yes. And then ungroup it again. And now you'll be able to get everything. And if you want, you can get each point, it's all each point in this. For example, I can take this part out. So this is a sine wave. And uh, basically, now you can group it into one. All the extra things are gone. And now you can just apply the wipe animation and wipe from left to right. And you'll be able to see the sine wave. Not very smooth here, that's because the laptop is doing a lot of work right now at this point of time. So the CPU is being used quite a lot. So this is one part. The second way of drawing the sine wave is the following. Uh, just go and insert a square and pr preferably insert the square in the middle of the slide. And uh, I'm going to draw a bigger square. You can draw the square of any size. There's no particular size no fill keep the borders black of course you can keep it any color it doesn't really matter and i'm going to go ahead and align it as a center and middle so that it is right at the center of the slide because of the uh, and, and i'll be able to make use of these guides so what you need to do is now draw a line vertical line and uh, make it have the same color but of course it doesn't really matter now what you need to do is you need to rotate this line clockwise by 25 degrees so I rotate it clockwise by 25 degrees and just align it with this particular part of the box so I'm going to zoom in and make sure that it's aligned properly the more aligned it is perfectly the better it is or else what you can do is in case you have a problem uh, with joining this perfectly just draw a horizontal line here and also okay and then what you do is you select this line and select this uh, rotated line go to align and uh, align it to the left part and align it with the bottom part and it is perfectly aligned with this line so you can increase the size if you want doesn't matter what size it is now what you do just copy this and make sure that it's aligned to this part too so again to make sure you select this line then this line and make sure that it is aligned to the right side of the middle line and align the top of the bottom line and now they are aligned now what you do is copy this bottom line and just flip it vertically and make sure that it is attached to the middle of the box so that's the reason i'm having the guides available here so align it to the middle and this you can reduce the size of a little bit okay now what we do now we go ahead and select the curve the curve tool and what you need to do is start from here click here and press shift to make it straight and end it here just like a straight line so I've got a straight line using the curve tool. Now what I do is at the center, I'm going to click it and then I'm going to right click at the center 
and I say edit points and then I say add point and then I'm going to click it again and say smooth point and now I'm going to make this line align with the middle line so this is the tangent and there's a bit of a problem in alignment but uh, the better you align the better will be the curve and now what you do is you go to this part let's say the, the select the curve again and at the end you edit points smooth point now make this align with this line as you can see one half of the sine wave is complete go to this point smooth and now align this with this line and what you have drawn just now is a perfect sine wave so this is the second method for drawing it. This was the first one was using the Excel. The second is simply drawing it and you can apply the wipe animation from left and you'll be able to notice this is the first sine wave and this is the second sine wave, which I guess is much smoother. All right. Now the third way, which is my favorite and the one which I find it very easy. I'll just remove this is draw a straight line draw a straight line of whatever length it all depends upon how big the sine wave you want and make sure of course make sure that it is uh, thick enough for you to be able to know how it's like so I'm going to make a little bit thicker and then I'm going to copy this, rotate this 90 degree and align it here. So again, I select this, then I select this and align right, align bottom and they're perfectly aligned. And now what I do, I just copy again the horizontal line and align it right here and they're perfectly aligned now take the curve tool start from here click here go up to here click here and then go here click here and the more accurately you do it the better will be the curve this is one half of the sine wave and this is all we need actually so you can remove these lines now uh, but then of course or what you can do is you can just uh, edit points and check the slope here the slope should be exactly parallel to the x-axis and it is so now you don't need these lines anymore because we are going to copy this and uh, make the second part of the wave using this so all I'm going to do is uh, let me remove these two and now I copy this, flip it vertical and then join this perfectly with this. So align them properly and now you see a very good sine wave coming up and now you can group this, apply the wipe animation and just see how it works. A perfect sine wave so these were the three different methods of drawing a perfect sine wave I prefer the last one because it is much more easier only thing is you need to be very careful when you uh, try to make the curve happen you have to be very careful when you draw the curve to know exactly which points you need to click at but it will give you a very decent uh, sine wave or you can use the Excel method but the only problem with Excel method is finally it will give you uh, an object which may be difficult to edit as such but uh, the fact is if you want to simply draw a sine wave then these any of these three methods will work perfectly for you so you can choose which method you find particularly easy for you so with that this is Kalyan Kumar signing off have a great day goodbye and thank you for watching if you find the videos of this channel interesting and useful 
and you haven't subscribed to this channel then go ahead and hit the subscribe button just below the video the moment you subscribe you'll find a bell icon click this and it will give you a notification which says send me all notifications for this channel this means the moment any video is posted in this channel you'll receive a notification by mail just check this box hit save now you're subscribed to this channel and now you will also receive notifications from this channel if you like this particular video make sure that you hit the thumbs up button